Good day, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news and reviews. As you can see here, we have our Android smartphone and we have our smartwatch here. Okay, it is a glory fit supported smartwatch and this time we are going to show you the complete setup for the glory fit application on Android smartphone. Okay, so we are going to install the GloryFit application, set it up with a smartwatch from watch faces, notifications, and the Bluetooth call if there is a support for the Bluetooth call on the smartwatch. So if you have any questions regarding this video review, just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if you do have the time okay let's start and pair the smartwatch with the glory fit application so let's search the app on a google play store just type glory fit app or just glory fit okay so we have here the glory fit application as you can see here, we have over 10 million plus downloads. It is a pretty popular application for smartwatches. Okay, so let's try and install the app. Okay, tap on install. Then let's wait. So we have here 51.94 MB. Okay, we are already on 88%, 92%, okay, and 100%. So it's now installing, and we're done. So let's open the app. Sports movement, agree. So we have here, okay, we need to sign up, or we need to register using our Twitter account, Facebook, or your Google account. Okay, in our case, let's just ignore. We'll not use our third-party account here. We'll go directly here with the okay, support app. So current phone, why does Glory Fit need to run in the background? So just go to set. We'll allow it. Notifications. Permission allowed. Okay, seems like everything is okay here. Go back and just ignore. Okay, so let's fill this one. Mail. Next. Next. Go. Sleep habits. Okay, let's just leave it as it is. Complete. So, Bluetooth is not open. So, let's activate our Bluetooth account here. Our Bluetooth net connectivity. Then, go back. So, let's select the device. I got it. So, we have here, allow Glory Fit to access this device's location while using the app so only this time allow glory fit to find and connect and determine relative position of nearby devices allow it now it is searching for our smartwatch is this our smartwatch let's see okay settings go to the about section info so we have here the QS08. So this is our smartwatch. Okay, select it. And we are connected successfully as you can see here. Okay. So that's it. We are now paired with our smartwatch. Okay, Bluetooth pairing request. Agree to it. Okay, so let's start. So we still have here some permissions for the contacts. This is for the Bluetooth call. Just allow it. Okay. 
So let's go first with this one, Bluetooth call with watch. Enable Bluetooth call function. So we seems like we already set it. Okay. So let's double check. Bluetooth call. Connections. Bluetooth. Let's see. As you can see here, we are connected. We are paired. And calls audio contact access. Everything is okay. Go back to our bar support app. Glory fit. Go back. Sync contacts. So let's add one. Let's check. Okay, open. So we have your permission to open your contact book. I got it. Allow glory fit to access your contacts. Allow it then pick a number here okay so we'll pick this two then import okay it's now syncing with our smartwatch finish sync okay let's see the phone dial pad call records contacts let's see okay so we have it here so we are done with our Bluetooth call. Go back. Next, let's activate the call reminder. Okay, just agree with the permission. Allow access your phone call logs. Manage phone calls. And that's it. SMS reminder. Let's activate it. Again, allow the permission. Okay, go back. App reminder, let's activate it, confirm, just look for the glory fit, allow, activated, nice, messenger, Instagram, let's pick some, okay, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp application, as you can see here, it has support for a lot of applications okay go back and i guess that's it so everything is okay now sms reminder app reminder and call reminder the last one let's go to the watch faces okay so we have here the dial center as you can see okay so we have here the my dial my dial it will show here the downloaded dial we have custom dial your own photo to the dial center let's select one and download it to our smartwatch tap on this one and synchronous dial it's now downloading okay so let's wait data preparation it is now syncing hopefully we can download this watch face okay let's see if we'll have a successful synchronization or download of the watch face on our smart watch it is now syncing 47 percent 48 let's wait So we are almost done here. And we are done with our download of the watch faces. Okay, so that's it. We have successfully downloaded a watch face from the support app GloryFit. Okay, so let's check again. So we're done with the Bluetooth call as you can see here activated for the Bluetooth call as well as other reminders here and notifications. Let's go to the universal settings. Let's change this one from 24 hour format time to 12 hour format time. Tap on 24 hour system, select the 12 hour system and we have it here. Okay. So that's it for the
complete setup of our of our glory fit application okay of our smartwatch with a glory fit application so everything is okay it's up to you to activate some of the okay options here like sedentary reminder this is optional do not disturb mode in our universal settings okay we have bracelet looking for mobile phones shake to take pictures and device language so it's up to you to select okay so we will set it to the our default language follow system okay in our case it is english okay so that's it if you have any questions just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if we do have that time goodbye